Hey art friends, today we're going to draw a cartoon cat. It's going to be really simple. We're going to keep this lesson nice and easy, especially for a young artist. I hope you have a marker and you have some paper and you're going to follow along with me. Now when I'm drawing by myself, sometimes I may go too fast. So remember, you can always pause the video. All right. Now we're going to first start over here with our cat's head and we're going to draw a U shape. So we're going to start right here and we're going to draw, we're going to draw U and it kind of comes in at the end. It's almost like we're drawing an oval, but we don't connect it at the top. Okay, now we're gonna draw our little cat's ears. So we're gonna draw an A shape that comes off of the top of the left side, and also, I'm gonna extend this a little higher, and then we're gonna draw another A shape over here. Now this is the inside of our cat's ears. So we're gonna repeat that same step, except we're gonna draw it a little bit bigger for the outside of our cat, cat's ears, and I'm gonna bring that, this line a little further inside. And we're gonna repeat that same step over here for his right ear. Okay, now we're gonna connect in between his ears. So we're imagining the shape of his head coming through, and it's gonna continue over and connect the left ear with the right ear. Now we finished the shape of his head, so let's draw his face. And I'm gonna draw two little eyes, and we're gonna draw them really small. So we're drawing a little different style of cartoon this time. So we're drawing little ovals, and they're tipped at the top. Now let's draw his nose, and we're gonna draw a little V shape in between his eyes, just below him, and then we're gonna connect the top of the V, and then we can color it in. <laughs> There's our cat's face. Now he's missing whiskers, so let's draw three little lines coming out of the cheeks on each side. So there's whiskers on his right cheek, and then we can draw the whiskers on the left side of his face. Okay, we finished his face, so now let's draw his legs. Right here, we're gonna draw a little line that comes around like this, okay? And then we're gonna draw a line coming down so it makes a T. Now he's gonna be sitting, but his front legs are right in front of him. So now we're gonna finish his legs, so we're gonna draw the left leg, and then we're gonna draw the right leg. There's his front legs. <laughs> now he's missing his paws, so let's draw two little lines for his toes on each foot. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the rest of his body, and he's gonna be sitting, so we're gonna keep this simple. We're just gonna draw a little curve that comes out and connects to his, his little foot. And then we're gonna draw the other side of his body that comes around, it's gonna start up here by his neck, comes around and then curves in and connects to his foot down here. So this is like a little backwards J shape. And then his body is behind his front legs. So he's missing his tail though, so let's draw a little curve coming out. And then we're gonna draw another curve right next to it. That's exactly the same. And then we're gonna connect the end of his tail with a little upside down U. <laughs> we finished our cat. Now we need to give him a little toy. Let's give him a ball of yarn. We're gonna draw a circle down here right below his paw. Okay. Now, to make this ball of yarn look 3D, we're gonna draw the details on the inside of the circle, but we wanna make sure that it's curved so it looks round. So we're gonna draw one curve inside and then we're gonna repeat that curve two more times. There's one, and there's another one. See how the ball is starting to look more round? Then we can draw lines going the other direction. We're gonna draw two more, and we're gonna curve them the same direction. Isn't that cool? It looks like a ball of yarn. Then we can also draw a little piece of string coming off the side. <laughs> All right, we did it. We finished our cat and also gave him a ball of yarn. Now I'm gonna color him. He's gonna look even cooler once we color him. So I'm gonna put my marker off to the side and I'm only gonna use two colors. We're gonna use orange and red. I'm gonna take the orange color and I'm gonna draw a little pattern on my cat first before I color him in. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes up and connects to his nose. And then we're gonna draw a line back on the other side. This is for his little snout. And then we're gonna connect, we're gonna draw another line that connects from here down to the inside of his front leg. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We'll connect it down to the same spot. 
So his belly is going to be white and also his snout is going to be white. And then let's give him white paws. So I'm going to draw a line right here where his wrist would be. And then let's also draw a line on his tail. So the end of his tail is going to be white and then it will be colored on the bottom part. Now this next part, I'm gonna fast forward. I'm gonna color everything in, but at the end you can pause it to match the same coloring. All right, I finished my cat. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. I colored his whole body orange, except for his nose and his belly and his paws and the end of his tail. And then I also added red stripes on his body and also on his head and then I use the red to shade the ball of yarn. Now, if you wanna learn how to draw this same cat in two additional poses, be sure to ask a parent or an adult to head over to artforkidshub.com slash subscribe and become an art club member. Now, just for our art club members, I'm showing you how to draw these two additional cats, but we also have a lot of additional lessons that aren't on our YouTube channel. So be sure to ask your parents to check it out, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.